This definitely ain't like the first one. No. Nope. But I'm looking forward to it. Yep. Nice. We're on the budget, not the barrel strength. On to the budget. If you watched our last episode, we did the cask and the barrel proof. Yep. Which was a good one. We got to taste some good stuff. Yep. Started out strong. This one's going to be a little bit different. I'm almost nervous. Yep. Bourbon budget brawl, right? Mm -hmm. That's what we're doing. We got these right here. We got the benchmark. Got the Ezra Brooks. Got the wild turkey for y'all. And the Evans, 1783. We're doing a blind tasting. I poured his. One, two, three, four. He poured mine. One, two, three, four. I know what he's tasting. He knows what I'm tasting. If I can remember. But we don't know what we're tasting. Yep. So we're going to smell them. Tell you what we smell, we're gonna taste them, tell you what we taste, we're gonna rate them, and then we're gonna go back a second time and give our guesses of what glass correlates to what bottle. All right, man, you ready to get this thing going? Let's do it. Start off with number one? Yep. Pull up. This one doesn't smell too bad. What's your smell like? Young. Mine smells young too. All of these will probably. Uh, I'm going to taste it. This one's alright. It's got a watery kind of thing going on. Yeah. All these but are, it smells like cinnamon. All these are low proof. I mean the highest one will be the Ezra at 90 proof. This one kind of smells like cinnamon. This one's very sweet. You like that one? I like it, but I haven't had a chance to try the other three. Um, on the nose, it's definitely just sweet and youthful. I can, it's very grain forward. I can taste the corn in it. Um, yeah, nose is grain, corn, like sweet corn. And the taste on it, I mean. I put cinnamon for my smell. And cinnamon for my taste. I don't get no cinnamon in, in my glass. So, whatever is in my glass one is probably not in your glass one. Um, I'm just tasting sweet corn, you know, with a little, little pepper, but it's not cinnamon spice. It's more like black pepper. Um, sweet and peppery. God, I don't know which one of these are going to be. Um, I'm going to rate this a 7.5 because it wasn't bad. And we'll go back through it, right? So yeah. it could change. But I got it at a 7.5 right now. That's what my first one, this one here. My guess is this is the Ezra. All right. Ezra Brooks. For your first glass? Yep, I'm guessing Ezra. I'm giving my first glass, I'm going to give it a 7.2, and I'm going to guess Evan Williams. Guessing the Evan. The 1783. On the glass number two. Two, one, one, dos. This one smells like bad decisions. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> But I mean, it's all right. Hmm. I'm gonna taste it. The nose on that one, I'm kind of getting the cinnamon that you were getting on your first one. This one kind of smells like pears. Like a pear smell. Still youthful. I mean, all these are yeah. going to be aged between two to four years. There ain't no like, crazy age on them. They're all budget. I'm putting bad decisions on this one for the smell. Bad decisions. It ain't bad, though. I mean... On the nose, on that one, 
I was getting like that cinnamon, cinnamon spice, but also grain forward. It was very grainy. So cinnamon and grains taste. I'm thinking this one here is the Evans. You think so? I'm thinking either the Evan or Benchmark. But I remember tasting the Benchmark before and I was like, God. Yeah. So I don't know, because this one ain't terrible. Your first impression of the, of the Benchmark was... Ethanol. Yeah, ethanol. It was all Terrible. Awful. But I got this one. I'm going to say it's the Evan. My number two glass... My assumption is that Evan, it's not getting higher than the first. I'll give it a 7.1. Yeah, people, I just did that. 7.1. For my taste on the second one? Sue me. Sweet. Grain forward. A little spice, like that cinnamon spice. Um, I'm going to give it a 7. 7.0. Would you give your first one? 7.2? 7.2 on the first. 7 on this one. And my guess, I'm going with the 80 proofers on this one. Mm -hmm. Well, this is technically 81 proof, so it's just one proof point above this one. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this is the benchmark. Going with the benchmark. Yep. Benchmark. I remember in our last episode. By now, I was already buzzing. I was like, <laughs> dang, these here. Mm -hmm. But we are on to number three. I'm gonna go ahead and get a little sniffy sniff. Alright. I can smell really good out of this glass. Shout out to these glasses that our boss gave us. Mm. I mean, I'm getting some chocolate on this one. That's gonna be the turkey then, probably. Or the Ezra. Or the. Uh, God. Maybe. Who knows? This one. Not really cinnamon. Maybe hints of vanilla. A little bit of vanilla in there. Oh man, this one's this one's the weakest one as far as taste. Yeah, like it's it just tastes like water watered spice. Like watered down pepper. Like pepper chocolate. So, yeah, so on the nose, I'm getting chocolate. Like maybe some spicy cherry chocolate. I wrote down vanilla for my third. This one ain't too bad on the nose. You got vanilla? This one's actually alright on the nose. Dude, I like the taste of this one. This ain't the turkey. I didn't confirm that. Now I said that this was like the weakest one, but I'm I'm probably wrong on that. It's just smoother, and I think it might have like more qualities that I like as far as sipping. And I want to go with the Ezra on this one. Um, but first, I gotta rate it. Actually, I think this is the wild turkey. Dude, I can't figure out what none of these are. This is not like the cask or the barrel one. Yeah. I had a good assumption. I have no clue what these are. I feel like this one I'm just writing. But my first guess was Ezra. Second guess was Evan. I guess I've got to go benchmark with this one. I still haven't felt like I've tasted one that was turkey, which is surprising to me because I consider myself a turkey guy. I feel like I know when I get some turkey. And I don't think you made turkey my fourth. But who knows? This ain't the turkey though. I'm gonna go with benchmark and it doesn't smell bad. Surprising for like, what is that? 15 bucks for a fifth? For the wild turkey? Benchmark. The benchmark, yeah, it's like 10, 15 dollars. Wildly accessible. Um, what do you rate your number three? I haven't even got the taste yet, hold on. I mean, I've tasted it, but I don't know what I'm tasting here. On my number three, it's I got... It's kind of got a kick. Like, it has a little bit of a hug. Yeah. And I like that. That's well, what I like about my number three right when, now. When you're thinking of the hug, you got to think of the proof points. And the Ezra is a 90 proofer in the budget. Ooh. So you got to take that into consideration. Okay. Um, 
as of right now, my third's getting a little. I gave it seven point six. My number one was a seven five. I have to give this one just a little bit more. I'm putting it down because I'm gonna go back to it. I'm thinking my number three is either Wild Turkey or Ezra, so I'm gonna go with Wild Turkey, and I'm gonna give it a seven five because it's like my favorite one out of the first three as far as tasting. Um, so yeah, my first guess is Wild Turkey, or it could be the Ezra. Get a little sippy sip of water here. High quality H two O. High quality H two O. Number four. I'm thinking. Since I got the Ezra Brooks glass here, this man was like Ezra Brooks in the Ezra cup. Maybe so. Hmm. I don't think so. This one smells a lot like number three. Kind of vanilla, kind of hints of honey. I'm getting vanilla on this one. I can smell like some sort of, maybe some oak. Caramel apples, like you get from the fair. The apple dipped in caramel, that's what I'm getting on this one. Very sweet, caramel apple. I'm gonna ta have you tasted your four? I have not tasted it I'm yet. I'm gonna wait till you taste your number four. Caramel apples, I smell, on the nose. For me it's vanilla and hints of oak. Okay. Like I can smell like uh, oak tree or some something. I was gonna say some shit, but I'm not getting any oak on this number four for me. So that tells me that ours are completely different. The first this video, all right. the first video. I mean, we poured exactly the same glass one through four for each other, and we didn't even know it was just a coincidence. That was hilarious. What if we did that again? I doubt it. I doubt it too. The chances of that are so slim. What do you taste? It's like sweet. It's sweet. Hints of vanilla, maybe some caramel. That caramel apple. I remember tasting the Benchmark. Benchmark's a Buffalo Trace product, by the way. It's like their budget, budget, budget product. I gotta write turkey since I haven't wrote down turkey, but I don't think turkey's my number four. I'm gonna be completely wrong with mine, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say that this is the Benchmark I gave it to number two already, but I'm gonna change that. Number four, benchmark, because it has that apple taste that I first got on my first impression of benchmark. And it's a Buffalo Trace product, so they got like that candy apple, sweet fruit. So I'm gonna say that one's benchmark. I'm getting apple on the on the nose and I'm getting apple on the on the palate. So Love I'm gonna apple. I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give that an eight point zero. Eight point zero for the number four. Wow. You know what's crazy? I gave my number four the highest as of right now too. Hmm. And you said turkey. I I you don't think, think it's turkey, but I've, I have no choice at this point. I've done broke down. But we're gonna go back through them. That's yeah. why we go back through them, yeah. right? Yeah. And you know what? Actually, I think my number one is my turkey. I'm gonna go. I'm writing that down. I'm gonna go number one, Ezra Brooks. And I'm gonna keep my score at a 7.2. And I'm actually gonna jack mine actually to a 7.7 .7 for that first one. It's nothing great, but it ain't bad. I mean, it's actually pretty good. It ain't terrible. All right, I'm going to number two. Number two. I'm about to finish all of these real quick. It's definitely lacking in compared to the first one, so I'm gonna keep it at a 7.1. And I'm gonna keep my guess that it's Evan. I ain't gonna change nothing about number two. I think I think that might be the order. I think it might be Turkey Evan. I think that might be how it is. This is Evan Williams. My glass number two, Evan Williams, 1783. Is that your and, guess? Um, Was that your first guess? No, I said benchmark, but it's... You're changing? It's a little bit hotter than my number four, and this would be like the lowest proof. Um, yeah, I'm going with uh, with Evan Williams on my number two. Uh, and I'm also gonna raise the score, actually. And I'm gonna give it a seven five. 
What did you have it originally? I originally had it at a 7.0. Okay. So you raised up half a damn point. Half a point. Yep. So Evan Williams on number two. Ezra on number one. Let's go to glass three. Let's go to glass three, man. This one is just, it's good, to be honest. The smell is very good. It's up there with, it ain't up there with the cash drinks. But, I mean, it does have a good smell, whatever this third is. And you say this, you know me. I like them proofs. I think you made a great assumption with this Ezra being 90. Mm -hmm. But within the 80 and 90 ballpark, it's kind of hard to dif differentiate. This one has more of a hug to it. Yep, that's something to consider. From what I remember compared to the one I'm about to hit it. Yep. But does it? But does it have more of a hug? Sweet cherries. My number one might be better. I'm going back through them. Wild turkey. Sticking with it. And I'm going to give it a raise. I'm going to give it a 7.7. .7. I'm keeping this one more. I'm actually going to drop this down. I had it at 7.6. I'm dropping it a hole down to a 7.5. Not much of a drop. And you think it's benchmark? Um, yeah, I'm going to keep benchmark. Even with considering the this, hug. The second be. time it didn't really have much of that. Okay. Stomp, this shit stone me off, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not used to these. Alright, but yeah, as of right now, I'm going to go ahead and place it in the order of how I got this. As of right now, seconds and last. Thirds and second, as of right now. I'm about to hit this last fourth one. Alright, well that's number four. Uh, cheers. Cheers, dog. This fourth one's still the highest. And you know what? Hmm. I think it's the Ezra, and I'm giving it just a barely, I'm giving it literally a point higher. Uh, yeah, I'm giving it a point higher than the turkey, what I assume is the turkey. Okay. That As says a, a lot. I mean, if you, think it's, guess. if you think it's Ezra and you're bumping it up, you're a turkey fan, man. Oh, for sure. For sure. So this, and I could be wrong. I thought me and Turkey were close in that. We're going to find out with the results. I mean, I could be spot on here, but I could be completely wrong at the same time. Though. I'm still getting apples on my number four, and I think it's Benchmark. So I'm going with Benchmark on my number four. This is the order of mine. You got fourth and highest, first and second, third here. So my second one's in dead last. All right. These are my orders here. I'm keeping it at 8.0 with Benchmark, and that will be my highest scored one. So I got Benchmark in first. I got this, it goes backwards. So I got first place, 8.0, Benchmark. What do you think it is? Benchmark. It's Benchmark. This is Benchmark. <laughs> Number three, Wild Turkey coming in at a 7.7. .7. Evan Williams coming in at a 7.5. And then the Ezra. I think this is a. Uh, it's decent, but it's not my favorite out of the four. And I'm giving it a seven point two. God, I hope Evans wins so bad. Here is Hunter's results. Boom. Da -da 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 -da. All right. And here's John's results. Bam. Now All right. Let's exchange. God, I'm going to be so disappointed in myself. I already know I am. Holy shit. <laughs> Evan Williams was the first for me. I gave the Evan Williams what is actually the Evan a 7.7. .7. No surprise. I mean, I was hoping that was the case, honestly. I was hoping this entire time before we started recording, I was like, please, Lord, let Evans win the competition. My number one. It's Ezra Brooks. I went back and I guessed the second time and said it was Ezra Brooks coming at a 7.2. So you gave the Ezra 7.2. Yep. And the results say number one, Ezra. My number one, I wrote down Ezra. 
Got that one in the bag. Oh, so you got Ezra right. Yes, sir. Okay, so my second, which I gave the lowest to. Mm -hmm. Wild Turkey. Was, which is crazy. People, I consider myself a turkey guy. I like the Turkey 101. And did you get it right? Yes, I thought I did. Oh, hell no, I didn't. My guess was Evans. Your guess was Evan, but the answer is Wild Turkey? The answer is Wild Turkey. And you gave it a 7.1? A 7.1, folks. Damn, son. My number two. I thought I was. Results say Evan Williams. And I chose Evan Williams on my guess. Oh, you got it right. I gave it a 7.5. You gave it a 7.5. That is third place. So I got fourth, third, second, and first place here. Evan Williams took the third place at a 7.5. Okay. Number three is benchmark. I guess benchmark. All right. I gave it a 7.5. You guessed that one correctly. Yes. Number three. Number three. At a 7.5. I gave it a 7.5. Hey. That that's a lot higher the benchmark. than benchmark. That's a lot higher than I expected you to give benchmark. The bourbon budget battle, mm -hmm. and the benchmark kind of succeeded. I surprised you. It did all right. Mm -hmm. uh, so far, so far, Evans is my number one as of so far. We haven't got to the fourth one yet. All right, number three. Results say wild turkey. I stuck with my answer. My guess with Wild Turkey in the first and the second go around, Wild Turkey had a 7.7. 7. 7.7. 7. I got chocolate spicy cherry on the nose. I got chocolate spice on the palate. I gave it a 7.7. 7. Wild Turkey, number three. The fourth one, my fourth cup here that I gave number one to, yep. is the Ezra Brooks. And I gave it a 7.8. So that's your highest scored one. Yeah, my highest scored one is, uh, so on a, what not the guess is, what it actually is, is Ezra Evans. So you got your number three and your number four correctly on your guess. Mm -hmm. And you like the Ezra the best out of these four. Yeah. According to your rating. I mean, I gave it a 7.8. Compared to this, I gave a 7.7. .7. But yeah, I mean, the, the Ezra definitely... When I'm, I know I kept saying in the beginning the third one gave me a hug, but when I, we went back through it, it didn't. And it was actually this one that kind of did. Coming in at 90 proof. Ezra Brooks. Maybe be like, okay. Yep. That's the Ezra. Mm. So, my number four, the guess was benchmark, or the results say benchmark. My guess was benchmark. Caramel apple on the nose. Sweet apple on the palate. Buffalo Trace product, you can get it for $10, $15. I'd recommend you go get some. It's my first place, coming in at a 8.0 benchmark. 8.0. So that's my wow. winner. A benchmark is wow. my winner. Yeah. So John's winner is? It's going to be the Ezra. Ezra Brooks. Yeah. My winner Ezra is Brooks. benchmark, and benchmark is the cheapest bourbon out of the four. So we're going to average our top ones and give you the best out of our average. We'll be back. The averages have been done. Yep. We did the math. Yep. We did the geometry. We did the algebra. We did the calculus. We did it all. We did it all. And it, and it is official, guys. Here's your winner. So the one going into the next round is the benchmark. In the next episode, we'll do, be doing four more budget bourbons in the battle of the motherfucking bourbon budget brawl. It's going down. We yep. got a round two. It's going to happen. Yep. All right. Stay tuned for the next episode because it's getting lit.